if you look at the scenario playing out in the markets right now, it's fair to say that investors are trying to figure out whether or not this pace of rate hikes can be sustained. Is it time for the Fed to back off just a little bit, or is inflation still too, too much of a worry right now for markets overall? Good morning, Dom. Thank you so much for having me on. Uh, you know, I don't think we have the data yet for the Fed to really back off. Um, the Fed is really committed to getting inflation down. And, and Powell has told you that by saying that he's going to keep at it. He gave you the playbook from Boca. And, and I think we're all tired of the bear. We want the bear to go into hibernation. But I think it's a little bit too early to, to be calling that. I still think that we're going to have episodic, episodic volatility, you know, even going possibly into next year. But I think as we enter next year, we possibly will start getting some of the data that the Fed is looking for. So, so I guess, how far are we through this now? So, so it, it, in your mind, it sounds like we're, we're well past the halfway point, perhaps, in, in this particular campaign on the interest rate side of things. And if so, if there is a light at the end of the tunnel, where exactly should markets be positioning as they are forward looking towards maybe what happens after the Fed gets to its terminal rate, whatever that is? Well, the market's going to anticipate uh, the Fed move. The, you know, the, the market is, is a discounting mechanism. And once the market starts sensing that the Fed is going to start to pivot, you know, markets rally, you know, double digits. And it's very interesting because I think you're already starting to see the leadership emerge. Uh, you're already seeing energy um, on a tear. And we're seeing some stocks in that space already reach uh, record all-time highs. You know, a space I don't hear people talking a lot about is, you know, the defense space. And, and some of those stocks are really rocketing and hitting new highs. In the healthcare space, you have a uh, number of names hitting record all-time new highs. And the valuations that you're seeing in the small and mid-cap space are the best that we've seen in years. So I think as we move into year end, into the first quarter, I think you're going to start seeing a repositioning uh, into the new leadership. And, you know, don't forget that we're, we actually now have a fixed income market. We have rates. You've got rates in, in cash. You've got rates in the bond market. Uh, you know, 60-40 is not dead anymore. I think you're going to start seeing some allocation uh, into cash and fixed income, and it's actually already started.